Hi guys, let's talk about ribbon cutting and sealing. If you've been following me, you would notice that I use a lighter to seal the ends of the ribbon. And I only do that on camera for you guys because not everyone has a machine that we have that's an industrial ribbon cutter. It spits out the correct size ribbon and seals it at the same time. Um, but as that is a, an industry machine, you guys probably couldn't be able to get your hands on that. So I thought that I would test this product for you guys and see if it works. If it does, fantastic. If it doesn't, well, I guess I saved you money. <laughs> um, and what it's supposed to do is it accurately cut and seal ribbons up to three inches wide, which I think is seven and a half centimeters. Um, this cuts straight angles and various styles of points, then seals the ends so there is no fraying. This package contains one ribbon cutter and sealer. Um, batteries not included as per usual. So, yeah, some batteries I prepared earlier. I'm going to load this thing up. Okay, batteries are in. I'm going to turn it on. Now, I believe that this little wire piece here will heat up and that will be the thing that cuts our ribbon. This is 25 millimeters satin ribbon and I'm just going to do a basic straight cut. I'll put it in the middle. Now, I think you're supposed to hold this down for a couple seconds. Look at that! Well, it's definitely cut it straight and to the test, it's definitely sealed it. Well, that's really good. Okay, let's try angled. I'm a little bit stuck. Okay, that's not very good. Maybe I had it on there for too long. Well, okay. It's okay, it still works. It passes, so yep, yeah, that's good. And the next one is various styles. So I guess I will do some fishtails and see how that goes. It's a bit tricky to keep the ribbon straight. Okay. Oh, okay, that didn't work. I think I need to keep it on there a bit longer. So now let's try that again. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, I guess it did. Okay, there we go. So that is fishtail. Not too bad, it's definitely um, sealed it and it's giving a much better edge than it would if you cut them and then tried to use this. It wouldn't really get in there and it will be a bit skewered. So that's perfect. Let's try a smaller ribbon. I'm guessing it will do the same thing. Oh, yeah, angle's good. Try fishtail on this one. A bit tricky. Oh, <laughs> okay, so that is the reverse fishtail, I guess the point. So if you want to do fishtail, I would suggest that you turn it over and the closed edge to be on the outside. I think that will then give us our fishtail. I don't like how it sticks. Maybe I'm not holding it down for very long. So that is that. The next one I'm going to try is organza. This is extremely difficult. It doesn't fray as much as satin ribbon does, but 
we do find that we cannot use this at all because it pretty much burns it up straight away. So I'll be interested to see if this seals it and it does not cause a fire. So here we go. Wow, okay, I'm impressed with that. That is fantastic. Look at that, doesn't even fray. Okay, that's so good. All right, let's try fishtail on this one. I don't like how it sticks when it does fishtail. I guess it doesn't really affect it too much. That's fantastic. Look at that. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. Sit down. Looks pretty professional. So let's try a 50 millimeter satin ribbon. It's quite long, so hopefully it will be consistent. It should, should be. Yep. Wow. I'm very impressed, you guys. That's straight. Let's try angled. Beautiful. Doesn't fray. And I'm tugging pretty hard. Okay, let's try fishtails. I guess the longer you want your fish tails, the more you need to angle it. Oh, can you see how it's stuck? Every time. If you use this, let me know if you can figure out why it's sticking. Is it the user or is it the machine? Oh, okay. Because it's stuck and I've probably left it too long, it's melted, it's not very good. But I guess if you played around with it, you would get a much better fish tail. Okay, so let's try one more kind of ribbon. This is grosgrain. Grosgrain doesn't fray as much, but it is nice to have a bit of a sealed edge. So let's try this diagonal. Well, oh, mm -mm, a lot more smoke there. Well, it definitely seals gross grain and cuts it perfectly. This is probably a bit too small to do a fish tail, but um, it sealed it. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. This is 25 millimeter satin ribbon. And I'm going to make a bow just to see how it would go making a symmetrical tail. Okay, so I want my angle to be like that. So I need to have this like this. That was really technical, wasn't it? But I'm not confusing you guys. I'm starting to confuse myself here. Okay. Okay, beautiful. So that's one. It's a good length. Oh. And now I just need to do the other side. It is a bit difficult and a bit fiddly trying to... Oh, hot. Trying to get them symmetrical. There we go, that worked. So it would take you a little bit of time to make a hundred of these if you were going to put these on invitations. Um, and it would probably be easier to use this, but if you don't mind the time that it takes to do the tails, then this would be good. I'm going to see if I can do them at the same time. I don't think that will work, but we'll try. I have a feeling it's going to stick to each other. 
So I'm going to hold it down a little bit more. And then quickly pull them apart. Okay, so that worked. You have to be really, really quick when you pull them apart. Otherwise, they start to stick together and then pulling them away will obviously end up fraying it. But I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty good. One more bow before I give my verdict. And what I want to do is a very popular bow for invitations. It is the 50mm satin ribbon with fishtail ends. It is extremely difficult to do um, without fraying using scissors and a lighter. Okay. Again, the difficulty will be getting them the right length. by the sticking oh and in the meantime I have wrecked the ends of that so that was a fail let's try this one oh same thing okay I probably would not recommend doing that. That was definitely a fail. Um, these are hard at the best of times, let alone <laughs> with a very tricky device. So that was a fail. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that and it's given you a little bit of insight to this tool. Um, it definitely cuts and seals straight and angled ribbon really, really well. Fishtail, uh, it was a hit or miss and more so um, a hit on the smaller ribbon instead of the large ribbon. I would also say that if you were going to make a lot of these invitations with bows on them, or if you're going to make a lot of bows for whatever project you were making them for, I probably would recommend using this method. It is much faster. If you don't mind taking your time to make them all, then this tool is a good tool for you. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next tutorial. Bye!